Good day, my fluffy mammals. Our kin are back with a brand new training guide video for mechanic. And uh, before we do anything else, uh, two things, two things. Number one, yo, I got that, that tooth, the toth, the toth dude, you know what I'm saying? Kind of matches my theme though, you know, because I got the blue, you know what I'm saying? And number two, my last guide video, I was level 259. This time, I am level 270. I'm going to 271. So, without further ado, let's us get started with these training maps. And... The first map, we will head to End of the World 1-4. Um, I didn't train at this map too much. Oh, I only trained at this map, like, before not only 6 job, but um, when, when all the other, like, good maps were, like, full. What we're gonna do is we're going to put... Okay, we're gonna include these guys. Put our TP and our Hex with extra bonus damage. And you guys see on the left of the mech, that, that little, like, thingy right there, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna put another teleport there. Okay, we're gonna buff up for the free XP. So, going to put an Urda fountain there. And then over here, we are going to put my Rocket Shock up jump here. Blauncher and the Botetot. And we are going to focus our attacks this way to the right. And the reason why I want to do to the right, even though I have Urda Fountain already there, is because Urda Fountain can only hit a total of 10, and more than 10 mobs spawn here, so I want to try and like full clear this, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's just full clear upon full clear. This is how I grind it, okay? So if there's an easier way you guys want to share in the comment section below, by all means share it ahead so I can share with other mechs that see my future videos, or if they, or if they want me to like do a remaster of like some maps, and I will gladly do so. This is just how I did it, okay? I like it, so I did it. If you guys don't like it, and again, you guys want to share your thoughts on the comment section below, go ahead, by all means. I don't really mind. Okay, so when your summons are about to expire, it's very important that you put your resistant infantry. And the reason why you want to put your resistant infantry down right when they're about to die is number one, because when you're gone, they're going to loot. They're going to, like, not loot. They're going to hit for you. And number two, because they last how long? 10 or 9 seconds? 10 seconds? And the waves last, or they spawn every 7 seconds? They can, if strong enough, effectively clear 2 waves. And also, every time you do a full rotation, then you just like put your hex down for 100% uptime for the extra FD bonus. I don't think ID really matters. I don't think so. But yeah, for the extra FD bonus, you know? So yeah, that is how I would grind End of the World 1-4. I'm going to go through all the Limina maps that I grinded on for this video. I mean, obviously there are like other maps where other mechs like, you know, grinded at, but I've never really practiced them and when I saw them, I really didn't like them too much, so I never got around to like actually trying or even doing it. I just feel like it, those maps were not for me, you know what I'm saying? So the next point we are going to go to End of the World 2-3. One of my actual favorites, if I have a vac pet. If I don't, then kind of sad, but yeah, it's fine. So we're going to put our TP there and our hex there, because that's where we'll be most of the time. And uh, over here, you see you see the tip of the mech cannon. You want to put your teleporter there as well. Okay, now we are going to put rocket shark number one here, number two here, number three here. Going to updraft here. Now, uh, it really doesn't matter which one. Uh, you can like, you can have a robot launcher on the right and butts tots on the left, vice versa, it really doesn't matter. But th that's just how I did it, and we will put our Urda here. Now let's us do the full clearing. Wait, what? Alright, not all of them die. Okay, that's my bad. I think it's better if I do this. I haven't grinded here in so long. But uh, usually... Oh yeah, this is right, this is right, this is the correct one. Okay. So I would put my teleport and my hex here. Throw my distortion bomb behind me. Uh, resistance infantry is not needed for this, because I can either resistance, or I can either distortion bomb, or just homing missile behind me, so I really like doesn't make a difference at all if resistance infantry is there. And yeah, the fodder mobs, like, at this corner here, will get hit by my salvo, and effectively I am full clearing the map. Okay, so you take your TP, you put Urda down, it effectively three plats, so you don't need to like really you really need to touch that. Okay, when it's time to loot, place your resistance infantry. Number one, number two, number three. 
loot up with your vac pet. If you don't have a vac pet, good luck looting this place. Okay. Let me put block slots there. And boom. That didn't take very long, though. And you are effectively full clearing again. Okay, the next map I'm going to show you, I added my own twist to this because this is like how I like to do it. And there's obviously better options out there, but I'm just going to show you how I did it. You know, if you guys don't like it, then you guys can just like do something else, you know what I'm saying? So I would put my teleporter there and I very specifically went on top of this portal and then walked a bit to the left and did and like put my TP down. You'll see why in a bit. So number one, we put our Rocket Shock 1, Rocket Shock 2, Rocket Shock 3. You'll put that and we put that there your robot launcher like moves right or actually wait I, I i i forgot if you're oh my god i'm actually not good at this so anyways after you put that you want to take your tp here and i actually want to utilize this portal i don't know why like i don't ever see mechs like do that but i feel like i wanted to have some fun with my portals so i did that and yeah this is how i got it uh end of the world 2-5 I don't know if Robo Launcher like turns right and left and like hits. I kind of forgot because I don't really pay attention to that. But I usually just put it on the far right corner of that platform that's that's um across from me. And this is how I farm 2-5. Okay, so when your Urda Shower expires, take two TPs. And then you just go back and boom that, that that to me that feels oddly satisfying i'm just taking two tps at once and then boom I'm back i don't know i don't know why i mean that's kind of i mean some people might see it say say that's like inefficient i just find that fun that's it so after that we just replace all our summons and the thing is if you just jump high enough and then you just flash jump or so, wh whatever that is I, I don't know i forgot uh, I'm kind of bad with these things. And you can just like get back to this platform here, you know? And boom, you are back. When your summons are about to expire, you gotta put your resist infantry down. Yeah, that's about it for this map. So for the last map, we are gonna head to End of the World 2-6. So the next video, we will be going over grandest maps. But that's gonna be for another time. Oh, someone's here already. I don't want to KS and put my guild on the board, you know what I'm saying? So this map... There are two ways to do it. Uh, one of the ways I sat over here on the left and did it. And the reason why is I'm left-handed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a really dumb reason. There's actually no reason. It, it just felt nicer for me. So what I'm going to do is place my Robo Launcher there. Place my Rock and Shock here. Wait, what? Oh, I did place it. I thought I didn't register. And then I place my Box Tots here. And then I would place my Urda here. And boom. You're back. Uh, this map, you don't really need to utilize teleporter. Because you already have a teleporter right in front of you. Or a portal, I mean. This is how I cleared another world 2-6. Obviously, you can do this on the right side too, or the yeah, right side too. But the reason why I did it is because I was kind of afraid that my Urda Fountain could not like clear up this entire entire platform. Even with this like large hitbox, I notice. But yeah, I, I felt really comfortable with this rotation. I mean, obviously there's gonna be other people that ha that might have easier rotations, but then again, I'm just showing you guys how I like grinded these maps, honestly. And I I like it. I like it a lot. I had a, I had enjoyable moments, you know, just sitting here doing nothing. And when your summons are about to despawn, you gotta put down your Resist infantry. Gotta put down your summons for full clearing on the bottom. Go up here and then take TP and then you're back. Ooh, easy. Uh, yeah, this this uh, teleporter here in the corner. Yeah, just ignore it. I just made a habit to like always put my teleporter down every time I'm out of grind. But for this map specifically, you really don't have to actually. Take teleporter, take that, and boom, you're back. Okay, so that's it for this training guide video. I will be making grandest ones starting next uh, video, but then again, I don't know when that will be. Then uh, just just gotta say one more time, you know, if you guys do have like 
pointers or like tips that you guys want to share in the comment section below for other mech players or beginner mechs you know or like even me then feel free to share if, if you want to like criticize i take it as constructive criticism you know because i'm not i'm not even like one year into the game so i'm like still learning everything you know what i'm saying but yeah other than that feel free to share it with your uh, ideas and pointers out in the comment section below if you guys want to and that's about it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Comment down whatever you guys want down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks. My social media platform is be in the link description below. Highly recommend you guys to go check it out. And yeah, that's about it. Stay cool and I'll see you for the next video. Peace. Freaking out.